Hmm, good day, Tragic here, and welcome back to Arkham Horror. We're going to power through these last couple of turns because we're pretty much one. Basically, there's only one, two, three, four, five gates on the thing. We only need six to win, right? You blammo. And there's no gate burst because we're just playing the first, exp you know, the, the base set. And we have an Elder Sign out, you know. So we're pretty much... I mean, it'd be very hard for us to lose at this stage. Uh, so let's just try and get this done. We'll try. I'll try and go quickly without just making a total mess of things. Let's hope. <laughs> okay, so this chick here is... What we want to do is get... The plan was for Gloria to do the gate, the next gate, so she cause she's already got one, and that would allow her to destroy this rumor. But, you know, the thing is, you, you, she, you get another gate, it's actually game over. So who cares? But uh, normally, I play with, uh, when I play, I have gate bursts, which means it's a good idea to keep in practice. So that was the plan, is to get the motorbike to Jenny and get the all the gate-solving things like the Elder Sign to her but uh there's no real real issue because you can trade the elder sign after they arrive because they can just camp out with the explored gate marker but anyway let's get straight into this we are doing mandy's turn she is going to go one two three four and she's going to actually skip these guys so she needs four movement for that and the Cathogians plus one and the warlock is negative two so her sneak is two, but she has plus two to evade checks. That's another two. She has the cloak, which is plus to evade checks. And she's got stealth, which allows her to re-roll. So she's got two re-rolls because of her ability as well. So, and the Cathogians plus one. So that's six die for one success. We should be able to do this. Oh, nice. Okay, so that's a pass. And this guy's negative two, so it's just five minus two. Three is a little bit harder to do, but like I said, we've got two re-rolls, so I'm not really worried. Wow, look at that. Bam. All coming up aces. Okay. Gloria. I think she's just going to go one, two into here. And nick off with this clue. Oh, that's my phone. Right, I'm back after my phone rang. Uh, what was happening? Yeah, so I took this clue. Uh, I'm going to stick with the law. She needs weapons is what she needs. She's got weapons near her. She wants a non-magical weapon. Okay, so she's going to go one, two, three, four. Let's give back that clue. Yeah. And she's actually got plus one speed, so she's actually five. So that was one, two, three, four. And she's going to take the shotgun. Okay, this bloke here, he's got pretty much nothing to do it as well. Uh, can he, he can't kill the warlock because it's got magical immunity and he's only got magical items. Uh, it's a real shame that... Where, where, where can I get items... I think I'll go to the Hibs Roadhouse. I think I can get items there. So that's one, two. Let's try and get some common items. Okay, so he's just going to stay with what he's got. Vincent. I think Vincent is just going to go one straight into one, two into here. And try and kill these things. We should be able to do this, I think. We only need two movement. So he has five sanity, which means he can take two, three sanity without any problem. He's got four, five, six to take out this guy. So we're going to put this up here. That gives him one extra fight. And he gets another fight from here. So that's the best we can do. So let's do it. First, we'll fail the sanity. And then he has... Uh, three fight plus one fight is four fight plus four five six that gives him to ten four five six 
7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, 10 minus 3. 1, 2, 3. So that's actually 7 die. It's uh, not real. Well, I didn't think this through very well. Okay, two successes, please. Thank you very much. Come on. Beautiful. He's dead. And now this guy, we have seven die as well, but this time we need three successes. Now we haven't used uh, Mandy's roll yet, so I'm pretty sure we'll be able to do this. We need three successes though, and we've got no clues. Oh, look at that! Bam! <laughs> You're a beast, Doctor. Okay, this bloke here, he has the healing stone, so give him a sanity. He has the blessing, so give him a roll of one. Come on, Doc. You can do it. No. Okay, he stays at two. Perfect. And I think he's just going to stay at the roadhouse. Let's move his luck up by one. Jenny, she gets a dollar. She also rolls for her blessing. This is where I'm going to start putting uh, cards that need upkeep. Three. That's a pass. She's going to start a movement phase, trading her money to Mandy. Now, we need to get her as close to Gloria as possible. So that is one, two, three, four... Like so. She actually only has three movement though, doesn't she? Damn it. Uh, who has the other motorcycle? There's a motorcycle with Harvey. And there's a motorcycle with... Oh, Gloria's already got the other motorcycle. Right, so she can only move three. So that's one, two... Let's just move to the unnameable temporarily. So they kept their blessings. Now Amanda is actually... Uh, delayed so we're just going to undelay her and because she's at the library I guess we'll put her law up and we'll put her will up she could got she's got a focus of three so she can do that quite easily and down to Caroline Caroline gains a sanity and gets to roll for her blessing no ones, please. Whoa. Four. Yablamo. Oh, it's a one. That is a one. So she loses a blessing. I'm not too worried about that. She's actually going to go. One, two, three to the police station using her three movement. And that's it. Okay, Mandy Thompson. Let's do her dude. She is at the curiosity shop so that is one two three ghouls king and yellow silver key yeah let's give her that bam that is four bucks one two three four goldberg is at the library Make a will zero check. Her will is four. So she has four dice. No blessings. Ooh, no successes at all. Abigail tosses you out. Move to the street. Yeah, it's fine. Dexter is at the uh, Hibbs Roadhouse. Joey the Rat Vigil slips into an empty chair at your table and whispers, Want to buy something? Look at the top three cards of the common deck. You may purchase any or all of them for one above list price. She's got no money. So that's the end of that. He is in the streets. This guy is at the at Mars boarding house still, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. You find a poorly boarded up passage in the basement that opens into a winding tunnel. If you venture into it, you exit the Silver Twilight Lodge, draw two cards and counter the card of your choice. Well, we're definitely going to do that. So, boom, we turn up at the Twilight Lodge. Get two cards. 
Okay, and because we actually have the inner sanctum, we can go to the inner sanctum. So we can choose from four locations. That's so good. Oh, look at this. Fight minus one check, gain ruby. We're definitely going to do that. You hear a quiet... Oh, let's just check the other ones. Uh, we can join the order, which we already have. We can fight two monsters. Or we can lose sanity. Yeah, so we're definitely doing this one. You hear the quiet sounds of an intruder. If you investigate, you find a woman dressed in black. She attacks you as soon as she sees you. Pass a fight minus one check to subdue her. Okay, so his fight is actually at zero. But we have four clues and it's blessed. So we're just going to spend a blessing and just roll. You know what? I should probably check that she was actually in the deck first. Uh, whoa. So, Ru Ruby, was it? Ya blamo. Maybe I spelt it wrong. Is it Rudy? She's not in the deck. Oh, she is in the deck. Why, why can't I? Why isn't it fetching? Oh, I'm pressing the wrong button. That's why. Rudy, and then I press the ally button. <laughs> Ruby, and then I press the ally button. <laughs> uh, I really should uh, come home and play a game after I've been at the pub. Whatevs, man. The point is, you subdue her long enough to explain your investigation. You find out that her name is Ruby Standish and that she was robbing the lodge. However, upon hearing your tale, she agrees to join you. Take her ally card. Okay. So that's plus two to sneak. And we get to draw one unique item. Which is an enchanted blade. That's one of the best. This is one of the best uh, daggers, right? Because it's plus four and it's one-handed. So you can actually team that up with like the 45 and you have plus eight every combat. No rolling, no sanity loss. Magical and physical. It's awesome. Okay, this girl is at the unnameable. Pass a luck minus one check to find a hidden cache. We have luck of three, so that's two. Your blamo. It's concealed in the wall of an upstairs bedroom. Draw one unique item. Ah, and we get it, so let's draw a unique. Power of S. Gandhi. Nice. Amanda is in the administration. Discuss an opportunity to sell a monograph with the president of the university. Pass a law minus one check to make a sale and gain $5. Okay, law is at four, so that's three. Five dollars would be nice. Beautiful. One, two, three, four, five. And finally, we have Caroline. Now, Caroline's going to do something crazy. Very rarely do this, but I've got to try and do some of the more bizarre mechanics I don't usually do. So that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're going to dump them back into the thing. So unfortunately, we can draw them again now. And that allows us to take the deputy card. Your blam. And that's because she is at the police station, which just says spend 10 toughness or two gate trophies or whatever, and you can take, become a deputy of Arkham. Now, a lot of people use a deputy of Arkham to be a, a monster hunter. But it's actually a terrible idea because every time you're in combat, you have to roll with the chance of losing the patrol wagon, which is the actual item you just spent all the money for, right? Oh, I gain a dollar now every time with my upkeep. But the best thing to do with it is to have this attached to like uh, an item digger, like that Indiana Jones guy who can draw like four items in the curiosity shop, or someone like Caroline 
who can gain sanity to people. Now she just teleports to their location and just follows them around, buffing their sanity. Noise. Okay, and we're back at Mandy. That is it. There's no one in an outer world, so it's straight to the uh, Mythos. Yeah, blam. Okay, it's a new environment. Fight checks in Arkham are made at a minus one penalty. Law checks a plus bonus. Fire vampires have a toughness. And we have a woods gate opening. Finally, a gate opens. Two monsters. Have a night gaunt and a star spawn. Circles, crosses, uh, cir circles, squares, and diamonds. None of them are circles, squares, or diamonds, and every other monster is dead. Lucky we killed that Cathogian last turn because uh, diamonds activated. Nice. And a clue appears at Independence Square, which is where we're not. I thought uh, he was there for a sec. And finally, we have to roll this. So we roll one die, I think it is. Yeah, one die. Come on. Okay, so on a two, we roll a two. So on a one or a two, increase the terror level by one. So, your blammo. And that means we lose an ally. So Thomas Malone. Nice. Doesn't that guy look a bit like that uh, dude in Boardwalk Empire who ended up playing uh, Al Capone? He was also in The Irishman recently, that Scorsese movie, as one of the gangsters. I don't know why, but it just reminds me of him. Look at that. Law and fight and a spell. Awesome ally. Allies are awesome. Okay, that is it for this turn. Uh, we're getting very, very close to the end now. We have the gate. We have the gate. I've got her in position. Oh, that's my alarm saying get off my butt and get downstairs. Or divorce is in the, <laughs> in, the in the cards. All right, I'm having lots of fun. I want to keep playing, but I will see you guys next time.